righty. Um, now, quite before I do quite get started for the day, I want to make sure that um, I delete the last City Skylines episode. Goodbye to that. Um, because I did this where I started to live stream. And I just ended up not recording this today, so, or, um, I ended up falling flat, um, when I started recording it because I forgot to turn on my mic and I forgot to turn on things after I went through the intro and stuff, so, um, anyway, uh, it's gonna be different tonight. Um, I am live. Uh, City Skylines 2 just released. Um, I played about a couple hours of this, live streamed it, it had no voice to it until about close to the end of this end of it. And I was like, you know what? Let's start over. Um, because I'll show you. I clicked on load game. This was the test, a thing that I saved it as for it. But, um, I want to show you guys a few things here. Uh, you guys, you got your... Um, I will do three autosaves, um, every ten minutes for it. So, in case we do lose something as we go. Um... I'm putting it 1080p 60. Okay. Um, you got advanced graphics here settings. I would not recommend you mess with anything. Um, unless you are absolutely knowing. So all resolutions. I'm not. I'm just going to leave it the default 1080p 60. Um, you guys might not be able to see it because, because of the capture and stuff. Um, uh, we do have the day and night cycles. Um, which we can turn that on and off anytime we want to. I'm actually going to turn this off because I don't like it. It's hard to see at night, so... Um, We'll change it to the time clock to 12 hours, um, and we'll mess with Fahrenheit for it, and we'll leave it metric for other units, we'll leave it metric though, um, just so that I, um, and we do have buttons to, that you can use, um, we've got a style, radio, and your input, you do get controller, controller so I'm pretty sure that coming through this I'm pretty sure you'll be able to play with a controller now which is actually a nice added bonus but right now they're not going to be available to to me I don't need the controller I might run with the controller to see how well it goes because I do have a controller base um, thing over here where I can put my controller and test it Um, we're gonna click on load game. I want to be able to delete my save. Um, now the one we did go with, um, was San Francisco. Um, and the reason why I'm going to use the metric system instead of the thing is just because it makes it easier for me to... Understand that it's 42 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, islands.
climate. Oh, that's going to be Tempar. Earth's climate is going to be... Um, you guys only get San Francisco and Tempar if you pre-ordered the game. So if you didn't pre-order it, I'm sorry you guys don't get the access to this. This one has ship connection, so I wanted the ship connection to make sure that we have it. Mountain Village does not have a shipping uh, thing. And it's only got a 21% buildable space. I want to... I want to say... Um, hey, Glass. Oh, where shall we build in? And I know it's going to seem a little bit boring. Um... Because I'm going to have awkward commentary. We'll still see snow in this one. I want to select the North American. Um, we're going to disable the... We'll call it Jersey. Why not? Why not? We'll call it Jersey. We'll call it Jersey in New Jersey. Oh, no, yeah, that's not the case. Um, for any of you who don't remember, who remember City Skylines 1, um, in City Skylines 1, um, there was a issue with City, with this game that's not apparent in the first, that was apparent in the first one. Um, there is no, um, access to Workshop yet. Um, that's going to be coming down the pipeline at some point. With future DLC and stuff, there is that. To be honest with you, if this was a released phys- I hope they release a physical version of this. Um, I hope that there is- Interesting for that there. This map seems very apparent. Um, now, we can't unlock much of anything right now. Um, <laughs> glass. You want to talk about rain? Let's talk about snow. I'm getting snow right about now. I'm um, not today, but I'm going to be getting snow this parent this week. week so it, it's um so we're gonna have the roads there um we're just gonna do road layouts first um the next seven days interesting hold on um i'm gonna check my phone my whoops wrong app uh, the wrong wrong weather app i have i have two different weather apps i wanted to check the other one other one here um while we're waiting for this to get up um we are supposed to get according to my local area next seven days one two three four five six the next six days the most predominant that we're supposed to get rain is thursday and saturday with predominant for rain but Saturday is going to be focused heavily on the snow unfortunately according to my weather app 
Um, now, what we do need to find out, um, is we need to go over to the overlays and find out where the, um, need to find out the wind. It's somewhere over here. Air pollution. So, the wind is going... Glass, I cannot... I, I would check yours, but I don't have... My, my, only, my apps are only local for my area. So, I don't have one. So, I, I, those are the only apps. The only place I would look check is Google. Um, now that's off putting. No, it needs to be... Hold on. It's off-putting, but... I think I can deal with it. I just have to make sure that when I... That I come down here and I'll do it from here instead. to be 90. Ugh. Because that's going to be a small portion of the city, but we will have some tight bendy stuff. I'm just not going full bendy right now. Um, here, let me check. I'm only, I, I know where you're at. Um... single day at like 90 to 100 percent chance jeez anyway that's the disgusting <laughs> Uh, 
Um... can't get anything so we're not going to be able to do a two-lane truss bridge um, the way that I want to do it And I need to stop selecting the trust bridge. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to get that trust bridge the way I want it to build. So we're just going to have to go directly as the traditional bridge. industry so I need to, to pause here okay yeah it's got to save it's been 10 minutes This is going to be our grid, grid, um, we're going to start another grid setting here, but before we do, um, <clears throat> okay, um, this is where we're going to put a lot of our industry. How far is it from this point? That's about 184 meters. So we're going to go... Um... Okay. We're at 184 meters. As far close to the edge as we can. And then... We're 90 degrees here. Um... back with Second Moon Radio, your second musical home from home. So settle back in your chair, pour yourself a glass, and prepare for another hour of musical delight. Tonight we are doing a musical tour of Italia, mm -hmm. land of art and culture. <laughs> Quibon, bon, as they say. And an aria inspired by the infamous Vivaldi. Enjoy the hour.
Um, let's go from here. Because it's going to be that tough challenge that's... That's there. Because as you can see... Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to go 90 degrees there, okay, and then we're going to take that shape and put that plate there. Do the same thing here. Um, no, hold on. And then we'll just extend. And that up there so now we've got our pretty much just our land our lay of the land um, for this so this is pretty much what we're going to do is I also now need to take um, whoops No, I'm pretty sure if I needed to figure out a measurement. There's got to be a way. We might not be able to get all the way, so we'll go as 160. Eight. Down there. And then... We're just laying the groundwork for the city. there for our citizens um, and then I think what I can do is put it something like that to go out that way
And so... to get people in okay we're gonna start with a power transformer now this is something that we don't want to be highly focused on on in our city because we're gonna have to be able to focus on getting other stuff from outside the region, but we'll start with that. Um, now, the water is flowing south. It, well, from based on this, it's flowing this way. So, what we're going to do is we'll put one up there. And then, um, and you need to find a good spot to put this without. Cause we gotta have a road connection. And we got tiny village. Just by building this, you will be able to get to tiny village and no problem. Now, okay, so we do get road, we do get power, and we do get water underneath the, that there. Now, what we will do is as you come into the city, we're going to throw that down there. And we'll throw a roundabout there as well as um, we'll throw a roundabout down there to improve on our flow of traffic. Once we do get that connection, um, because I'm not going to go out. I could go out and buy this these two lands, but I don't have the highways yet, so I don't want to really do that. Now, roundabouts, we could go for roundabouts and get better, um... Out of that. Um... But I'm going to unlock this crematorium. Right away, because I want to have the crematorium as our main source of are dead. I'd rather... I'd rather try to get clear out our crematorium with that. But, we can't just start putting things in yet. We'll put it in when people start needing it. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to place just this much right here. Okay, we're not gonna go any further. Okay? Now, we're gonna need some residential. So what I'm gonna do is I always like to line my residential along here. We'll just do we'll just do slowly do this. A commercial there. 
Um, we're going to take our marquee tool. I'm going to go partial way down the line there. And then, okay. Now we're going to need a little bit of, we're not going to post that much right there. Um, so let's let this build. Um, and guys, I just wanted to less lessen this. Um, that. Divided road. Now, here's what I'm going to do. Um, we're going to take our replacer tool. And what I'm going to do... Is just improve our road. Layout. Um... Because what I need to do... You're back with Second Moon Radio, your second musical home from home. So settle back in your chair, pour yourself a glass, and prepare for another hour of musical delight. Tonight, we um. are doing a musical tour of Italia. Mm -hmm. Land of art and culture. <laughs> que bon, as they say. And an aria inspired by the infamous Vivaldi. Okay. Yeah, because we're going to swap that out just to make it a little bit better there. And we'll just put it like so down there. So that just allows us to have a better thing. Now we do need some high density, so I'm going to put the high denser. Um people along here here yeah, because it's going to fill up a lot in our okay no what I do want to do is fix A road there. Okay. We're going to extend you out as far as we can go. Okay, much better. I'm um, style of row housing.
So now we're gonna need some commercial, so I'm gonna do every other. <coughs> Every other a commercial. And I'll do every other non. That's nice so that we can get some things going. Now we got the Rock Musician Mansion. I already have a perfect spot to place it, but... We're going to improve our... Our medical services. We're not going to expand too much on our medical services right now. Okay. Um, we're going to have to have... I want to get the incineration plant next. Which we will unlock next round because I do want to have I want to have that as our best place. I'm gonna put the rock musician house down in that corner. Um so we have that improvement. Okay, so we have somebody waiting for a hearse, so we do need to create that crematorium. Um, I'm gonna move, I want to put the crematorium away from the city, but I don't know if I want to, let's just, let's just find a good spot to place it. I think we'll just place it there. We now have milestone unlocked. Okay, so... I'm only going for that incineration plant. Because we're gonna need Yeah, and I'm only and I'm only going and since this thing is huge Um I know that we can unlock tiles. I'm only going to purchase this tile right there. Okay. Because we're going to need that. The only thing I will improve is our garbage collection on there, and that's only for it, um... these things properly connected. And I'm going to put another transformer out here. Um, for people to actually have a powerful connection so that's just great to see now we do need some elementary now in order to get elementary I'm gonna put our elementary here but um I don't know, do I, where do I put the elementary school, because I'd have to buy that extra land, and I'm not going to buy extra tiles. Um, 
I think what I might do... Mm, I think what I'll have to do is... I think what I'm going to do is... Um, let's put our elementary school... Let's put our elementary school right down here at the end. We're not going to expand the extension wing yet. We're just going to put a children's clinic down there. With a playground. To improve our education a little bit. Uh, we now got districts, which I'm not going to mess with yet. Now, we are actually exporting. Um, we are need in need of power. Because we are exporting it, we would rather... us have the power Literally, right there. And we have a transformer. But now we are not. Okay, we are going to need some firehouse. I'm gonna put that there. But I'm going. Okay, so I got built our pines already. Um, interesting. Um, we'll put that there. I'm gonna put the upgraded garage extension for that. Um, and then I'm also gonna move the. I'm gonna put a put the police station over on the other end, other side of town. And we'll add an extra police car station on top of that. But that's all I'm spending. For that, um, we do have transportation needs, so but we're not going to go into that right now. Um, let's expand our. industry back there a little bit now we do have some how delightful um, another let's use our erstwhile listeners <laughs> What's up, honey? Me and my sister love you. Oh, that's nice. 
Y'all got clarinets and violins, but you got something most music these days ain't. Let's put a little bit down there for that. Back to the great Hayden himself. Hmm? I only, I'm gonna put it a little bit. Y'all got soul. Oh yeah, soul. A raison d'être. Mm, delicious. My sisters say whoever you got playing the keys got more funk in his pinky. Hmm. But I told her that ain't funk. That's classical. Yes, indeed. That must be most exacerbated. Classical music has been known since the time of the early explorers. Funk, by contrast, is an entirely modern conceit, and you'll find none of that here. Funk, as they say, is for the lay person. Now, let's hear another one of those soulful cats. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently, that's not all good news. We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. So a housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to desire certain representations within ideological reward structures, which are entirely apart from um. the actual rewards enjoyed. For example, consider capital. One, right, well, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. But what we are discussing is the study of a statistical abstraction and its effect on the human Thank body. you, Professor. It is a question of priority. The leader of the City Services Division is with us in the studio today to talk about why they're contracting with outside agencies to provide vital services for our residents. Isn't that going to be costly, Mr. Councilman? Oh, well, quite frankly, yes. It is an additional expense, but the residents have come to expect a certain level of services, and we simply do not have the capacity to provide them within the city. Sounds like we're the ones who will end up paying <laughs> for it. Should we be worried? I expect the residents would be more distressed if key services became unavailable. Their quality of life is very important to them. But so is their money. We'll be back after this. So now we actually have seven different development points. Highways. Um. I'm just seeing what we've got available for us. Um, I think we'll just save the development points for now. Because we're going to get another connection, but I'm not ready for that connection yet. We just have to be prepared for it. Um, it looks like we do need some office space. So we're going to create... Um, some office space there. And I'll put commercial down in that spot. commercial there as well. As well. So we have a, we're doing pretty well with expanding on our city. Um, so this is not a bad city whatsoever. 
on our on our building. Now I do have managed management. Okay. But But that's going to help improve on our sound barrier design a little bit. And as you come in, it'll also improve on that sounding desire. We're going to make bigger... sidewalks down that way and on the outer edges of this we'll put some trees there it's gonna take some time for them to grow though Do we have beautification? Do we have anything for park? Park maintenance. Build like that. As we're having this population is slowly growing. I'll leave those there. Actual city statistics, transportation overview, city economy. Services upkeep is what's been taking us a lot, but our monthly balance. I'm surprised that nobody's building down here yet. It's slowly, but they will surely get there. Okay, um... Lack of entertainment in the city. get entertainment to be honest with you because I should have like an entertainments tab but I think it's just so early on Uh... 
Um, we're gonna spend an upgrade that to a medium. And I'll upgrade that to a larger roundabout there. But that's gonna have to stay like that. Um, we got some more land over here. I'm only, um, so let's take, um, we do got larger roads. Um, we'll maybe upgrade that later. Um. And it's going to be slightly changed. Now, it's off a little bit here. Um... So what I'm going to do is we'll extend... gonna extend a little bit of our road up to there And it will just extend like so with a tiny, tiny town. Okay. What I need to do is I do want to get like sports parks for entertainment because people are complaining that they don't have entertainment. But I do want to go over here and start getting intersections, which, oh, it costs four. <laughs> okay. Um... Maybe next, maybe next time, but, um, um, so we need some entertainment into the city. Um, we now have. Um, I'm actually going to put the skate park there. But a baseball court. Um, let's put actually. You're listening to Second Moon Radio with J. Thomas Hornbuckle. And we're pervading some of the finest classical music on the air. Keep that dial right here. And on and then... our main feature story the commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores. 
bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate. Or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate. Or so okay, I now let's go do some That's little bit of decorating, not too much. Good for the community. Um, Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. I wanted to create a crosswalk there. Um, I'm gonna have to do this a different way. Uh, so I can get that crosswalk there. I'm not going to put a crosswalk in those spots. Um, but I will create a crosswalk there, a little crossing there for people to get around. Back there. Um, Now, people do need ways to get parking, but I don't have parking available yet. If I'm not mistaken, I don't think I have parking. There's a way that you can access parking. Okay. Um, we'll put a radio mask there for people. We'll put a radio mask there for people. Um, I'm gonna put a radio mast inside over here. People are gonna be mad at me, but that's gonna improve our at length. Um, I got specialized industry. Now, right there is where we're going to have that specialized industry, but we will have a highway going through it. No. We're just going to have a connection to the highway, but it'll be primarily for that. We might do it over here, per se. But I'm not going to buy out the land yet because we're not quite meeting of it. Um... So,
crap. And then... Guys, we do need to start getting in some more high medium density um, residential, so I'm gonna put some We're gonna put the medium density here And then I'll put the medium density with mixed housing Right there near the park Polaris well, Suites, nice. We're just going to put a little bit of the mixed place right there for them to get in, get access to it. Um, Let's get our feeling for... This population is going to start growing. Mixed housing right there just so that a little bit of commercial there as well. I'll take some up this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Increasing areas of forest are being engulfed by flames. The thick smoke rising from the fire makes the air dangerous to breathe. Citizens are to vacate any premises near the fires and remain at a safe distance until emergency <clears throat> services manage to get the fires under control. Um... to go to here I don't know because that's out, that's way out there and I don't think I think I'll just let it burn well so we'll see if we need to worry about it because we'll, well actually I'm pretty sure let's just do this we're gonna have to do it I didn't want to have to build the heli firefighter helicopter depot. We'll have to wait on our thing. Um. Just to be on the safe side. Put you there. And we'll have to put the firefighter helicopter there. I didn't want to have to build you. Now, I'm just going to build a taxi depot as well. And we're going to have to have that as... That here someplace. Um, put some taxis. 
just to improve people's well-being. We're going to put one on every row of this area here. Because this is going to help people get around, I think. improve people's flow of traffic I will put one down that way um, I'll put an additional one right up there in front of the school It's going to be a little bit of a challenge now. Now, I, I will say this. I'm just playing from what I've played so far of it. like a bypass. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. Has anyone seen my keys? My keys. What? We're in the air? Oh, oh! Uh, sorry about that. It's, uh, nothing important. I just lost my keys. I'm sure they'll turn up. They're for the brown... It'll help improve on our... Oh, wait. I probably shouldn't have said that if anyone finds them. Please, don't, don't steal my car. I mean, the old hornbuckle mobile, please. Oh, good. Here they are. Well, never mind them. <laughs> Thank you for listening to, uh, Second Moon. Interesting news from the city's export division. Sources tell us that our city has more services than we know what to do with. And you know what that means, folks. It means we're not cutting things close enough. Well, no. The point is we're selling it and bringing money into local That's Chicago. right. You could almost say it's too much of a good thing. Or we could say that we're enjoying a positive trade balance and the economy is booming. More after this. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can okay, we got six for Boomtown. ...while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate, or so my... This is an emergency broadcast to all citizens. The Fire and Rescue Service reports that fires are currently spreading in the nearby forest. The billowing clouds of smoke pose a serious health risk to anyone nearby. At this time, all citizens in the affected area are instructed to immediately move to a safe distance until the situation is under control. 
wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. Now, I'm going to put in... A couple of small parking lots there. Um... What I will do is you come in, um, we'll put in a couple of a smaller parking lots right there as you come into the city, which is going to be great, but we need to get the industry under control a little bit. Um, because we're seeing, I don't think we're seeing any traffic jams, except right down here. And so I want to be able to have the industry. Um, for coming out. So we are going to. Okay. So we have the dumbbell interchange right here. Um, we've got four stack interchange. Um, this is for industry, so I don't know. Got our trumpet interchange. Our four leaf clover interchange. single point interchange this one I want to try this um but because I really do want to try this, um, this single point interchange. So, because it's going to basically, because we're going to be part of the city anyway. But I want to improve it so that we have another point of exit. a little bit And then four lane Oh no, it should be two lane, sorry. Oh, 
Ah, uh, see, that's what I wanted. Is just to extend our three-lane highway out a little bit here. Um... And then I also want to come down here. Um, Okay, um... Wait. Oh. Duh. I don't need this. There. Hold on. And then because I think I can redo this, just make it seem a little bit better. Um, yeah, it might not be what I want it to look like, and then I think. Whoops. No. Okay. Then I think what we'll do is we'll start by increasing it. Two length, and then we'll come down here and do it so that it actually has a little bit of a better opportunity. And now we have this six lane road, which is going to be something that we are going to spend our time focusing on. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to see if I can replace. Um, I actually don't think we should put that here, um, just because it's the highway. I will put it, put it at the back down here, at the divided end, okay? Now... We're going to try to keep it as gritty as possible. Actually, what we need to redo this.
Because now what we're going to do is now we need to find our six lane road. Because we're going to try, we're trying things out. I don't know how things... And then we'll upgrade... Um, hold on. And we'll upgrade you. Downgrade you, sorry. I need to re-upgrade you. Okay, and we're gonna place the divided... Now, I'm wondering... If I can put... The trees down the middle. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive, and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. Pending updates to our power grid, the city will be experiencing rolling blackouts. We urge the public to remain calm during these breaks in service and to follow the guidelines on the city's website on how to plan for these temporary events. This has been a I actually public think we announcement. You're tuned in to Second Moon, the channel where the classics never grow old. We're, we're live, um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident uh, somewhere uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched, and traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick trip out, you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. If you're in it, you, uh, you already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, uh, expect delays and drive... Oh, yeah, I have one minute. okay. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming, as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy um, local Jarva Mate, or okay. so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. Now, I see where we have an issue. But I'm gonna leave this issue there and just make it as like a f feature. I should make it like a feature in the city. Um, all right. Now, yes, as you guys can see, this is gonna be the main part of the city. Um, it's gonna be over here. We're gonna do like suburbs and things like that out in these distance distances. Um. But we do need to... We're gonna leave that the low side of the city. So what I'm gonna do is... We're gonna replace all of these.
if, with low density. And then we're just gonna improve. Oops, we will put that there for what it's worth. We'll put the medium density heater. And then commercial there now. Now what I'm also going to do is we're going I think that's going to be the way that we'll have to do things here. Um, now, now, we do need a high school, and I want to get a high school in here. So, let's purchase both of these two tiles. We're going to get um, how's our elementary capacity? We have, still have good, decent capacity for elementary. Um, so we're going to put our high school right here. Um, near the end of our thing. So let's take a look. At, now we're going to add in a school library. And in the back... We will add a sports field in the back. So that's going to be decent for us now. Um, Just improve on the noise quality. There, we'll just put it like so. And I'll just add sound barriers on this inner. I know it's not indicative, but we're going to expand out here a little bit. So I'm just going to go back as far as I can with putting sound barriers. But 
Because that's that's basically and it's and to be honest with you, the plan that I have right now is just what we see here. Um that needs power, so I'm gonna have some at least some way of having a little bit of protection for it um now the last thing i'm going to do here today um is i'm going to sign off uh i hope you guys actually enjoyed um because if you guys enjoyed uh We'll be back tomorrow, um, playing City Skylines 2, uh, and I'm going to tell you this is actually a decent game enough for me to have an enjoyment. Um, I haven't connected here yet, um, I need to work on that because we do have some congestion over there, um, so I want to make sure that we get our six lane road connection first. Um, that's going to be our last thing that we're going to be doing today. Dividend. Okay, I like this one. Alright, and then we can just... Come right on in. And now we have another way for people to come in and get into the city. Um, now I will... Okay. I think we'll need that there more effectively. Um, I'm gonna place all that with mid low density. Because what we're gonna do is we're shifting a lot of the high density off of this street. Cause I gotta get off. I gotta go do a couple things. I'll we'll go f four tiles there for commercial. And we'll go with medium density there. Um, 
and then what I will do is we'll also do the same thing here for for commercial zoning zoning except I want to take it off of that there And I'll put the A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. You're listening to Second Moon, the epitome of classical listening at home or wherever you roam. We're, we're live, um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident uh, somewhere uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched, and traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick trip out, you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. If you're in it, you, uh, you already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, uh, expect delays and drive safe. This just in from traffic. If you're thinking about hitting the streets, you can expect delays on the major roads, especially during rush hour. Good to know, Jim. Seems like everyone is in a hurry to get somewhere fast. It's worth slowing down. And if you can, plan your trip outside the rush. Oh, I don't know. I'd rather wait an hour in traffic than I have to start thinking about everything all the time. Besides, if I did that, anyway, I'd never get anywhere. Um, that's going to be it. So... Um, I'll call this one Jersey, um, I'll just call this one Jersey, um, EP1, so it's EP1 save, there is some auto saving going on, but that's where we'll go, um, so I hope you guys enjoyed, um, and if you guys enjoyed, remember, hit that like button, hit that beautiful, lovely subscribe if you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching live here on Trovo, um, and you guys have any suggestions for what we should build, I know I built in building grids, but that's how my cities I'm thinking I'm going to work on is just making this called the grid city, the Jersey city. Basically, North America is pre predominantly known for its grids with a few twists and turns and a few things like that. So that's why I'm building a lot like grid style in America with some roundabouts, making a little bit conscious, better decisions than what America should do. But we're going to stick to primarily doing that with roadside stuff. So, um, if you guys are interested in seeing a lot more content, um, Trovo.live, um, Gaming Metarox, you guys can check everything out. Um, the schedule is over there. Um, or down below in the panels, depending on where you're watching. Um, and also, um, if you guys um, are interested in checking out a city skylines and seeing the difference between our city skylines and city skylines 2 you guys can check out a video um here that i did from a while back it's been a while since i played cities so you guys can check that out you guys can check out a puma my unboxing of my pumas like i always do and the other for that reason and the last one here guys i am going to share with you guys the last thing here i'm going to say is you guys um, can check also out the playlist that will be coming down the pipeline for City Skylines 2. Um, so anyways, um, bye!